knowing how to read food labels is a great skill to have as it will help you to choose the lower salt foods and reduce the amount of high salt foods you eat. This will make it easier to keep within the recommended daily amount of salt. Manufacturers are encouraged to use the traffic light system. So as you can see, they highlight high, medium and low with red, amber and green. A food will only be considered low in salt and be labelled green if it contains less than 0.3 grams of salt per 100 grams. It will be labelled amber if it has a medium level of salt between 0.3 and 1.5 grams of salt per 100 grams. Anything above this is labelled red and is high in salt. Here are some examples of food items that display the traffic light system. So, at a glance, you can easily see whether something is high, medium or low in salt from the colour. If there is no label on the front, you can check the per 100 gram column on the back. Often the amount of salt in a product is listed as per portion, and this is sometimes where it can get confusing, as the traffic light colours still represent per 100 grams. Let's look at an example of this. On the front of this paste, it says 0.36 grams of salt, but it's labelled red. So why is it red, given that I said only foods above 1.5 grams of salt per 100 grams are red? This is because, whilst there might only be 0.36 grams of salt in a tablespoon portion, in 100 grams, there's 3.2 grams of salt. So it's labelled red because that's high. If you find all of this a bit confusing, then don't worry. A good guide is to make sure most of your food has got a green label, you have medium or amber foods a couple of times a day, and high salt or red foods occasionally or in small amounts. If you do decide to add up how much salt you're having, then be aware that sometimes manufacturers will choose quite a small amount as a portion, so it might be that you're eating more salt than you realise. Here are some examples. These are portion sizes according to the manufacturer and all probably smaller than you would normally eat. This soup contains two portions and this tub of crisps contains five portions. No, certain foods such as soy sauce will always have a red label. This doesn't mean you can never have it, just eat it less often and try to have it in a small portion when you do. If you've had something that is high in salt, try to have lower salt options for the rest of the day. The amber category covers quite a big range of foods, and those containing salt at the lower end of the range can be eaten in bigger portions or more often than those at the higher end. There are now handy apps where you can scan the barcode of a food, and it will give you examples of lower salt options. We'll show you how to use this in the next video. Aim for less than 6 grams of salt per day, check the label, 0.3 grams per 100 grams is low in salt, 0.3 to 1.5 grams is medium, and more than 1.5 grams per 100 grams is high in salt.